Hi, I'm Kerry Chester. I'm part of the Division of Oncology at the Stanford University School of Medicine and a co-author of the paper, Enhancement of Antibody-Dependent Cell-Mediated Cytotoxicity, A New Era in Cancer Treatment. In the paper, we explain antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity and discuss different mechanisms for enhancing ADCC to produce greater clinical benefit in the cancer setting. ADCC is initiated by the binding of a monoclonal antibody to the tumor-associated antigen. The FC portion of the antibody then becomes a target for FC receptors on the surface of effector cells. Natural killer cells, macrophages, and recently gamma delta T cells have all been found to play a role as ADCC effectors. After recognition of the antibody FC, Effector cells trigger multiple mechanisms of anti-tumor immunity that culminate in the lysis of the tumor. One promising avenue for increasing the potency of ADCC is modulating the strength of the synapse between the antibody FC and the immune effector FC gamma receptor. Protein engineering has been shown to enhance ADCC effector functions. Obinutuzumab is an example of a glycoengineered anti-CD20 molecular antibody that recently outperformed rituximab in a head-to-head -head comparison in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Oncolytic viruses offer another approach for improving ADCC. Oncolytic viruses selectively kill and replicate within tumor cells but do not harm normal cells. Rayovirus, an oncolytic virus that kills tumor cells through selective replication in cells with an activated RAS pathway, has been shown to induce NK cell activation and lead to increased NK-mediated cytotoxicity. Finally, agonistic and antagonistic antibodies that target natural killer cell activation pathways provide a promising strategy for enhancing ADCC. One molecule that has demonstrated strong preclinical success in this approach is CD137, a member of the tumor necrosis factor superfamily that upon ligation increases natural killer cell proliferation, degranulation, and interferon gamma secretion, resulting in greater cytotoxicity. Antibodies that block inhibitory signaling in NK cells have also demonstrated early successes. Checkpoint blockade antibodies targeting cure molecules and programmed DEATH1 and its ligands have entered clinical trials. The combination of tumor-targeting molecular antibodies and ADCC-enhancing immunomodulators is a promising treatment strategy for oncolytic patients. As more tumor-associated antigens are identified and immune effectors activating pathways are better understood, the applicability of this approach will only increase.